Uh, I wanted to cover this because I, I got fired up on yesterday's show. Um, because I had, right before the show, I had read uh, a news article about the explosion of depression among high school and middle school kids in Massachusetts where they, they couldn't even get beds in hospitals. And the news said this, not me. The media said it's because of the pandemic and the isolation. These kids are out of their normal routine. They're not around friends, peers, and it's killing them. So anyway, I got all fired up about it. So Madison, the producer, gave me this article, and I, I just want to touch on this. This is not a political thing, but I, I make no bones about speaking to purpose, not just professionally, but relationally. So I, I'm always going to have the human element because I'm pro-people. I'm pro-human. Between August 2020 and February 21, anxiety and depression has skyrocketed among Americans 30 and under. And worse, the people reporting the increase in anxiety and depression are also saying they aren't receiving mental health counseling. And this is troubling to me. So I, I just I didn't want to spend a lot of time on this, but I, I wanted to make it really clear that this worries me. I talked about this on the show two, three weeks ago. There's some research out of London. A well-known psychologist did some research, and he equated, listen to this, he equated being out of a job up to six months. If you're out of a job up to six months or even beyond, of course it's worse, but anything up to six months without a job, the emotional toll on a human is the same as losing a loved one. Wow. Why? Because we are relational human beings. We were created to connect and relate. And when, when, when young people, this is 30 and under, with a huge population being teenagers, middle schoolers that aren't in school. When they are not in a routine and active and bouncing into people relationally, the soul begins to dry up. We're not made to be in our rooms all day playing video games or watching Netflix or whatever. Isolation is a killer. And so what's the takeaway? What I was concerned about is that all these people are saying they're not getting help. And I'm telling you that a counselor could be a lifesaver, a professional. If you can't afford it, start saving up for it. Find a way to afford it. In the meantime, you better find some people. If you're already wearing a mask, then go hang out with somebody with a mask on and six feet away. There's no excuse, no matter what the rules are with COVID in your state or your locale, you can still talk to real people. You better find some people you can talk to. They don't have to be a professional if you can't afford a professional, but they got to be somebody who is empathetic and loves you and cares about you and will just listen to you. You better start getting intentional. But there's no excuse for isolation. You don't have to be that isolated. And this is a problem. So if you know somebody like this, you feel like they're doing that, you better inconvenience yourself. You better reach out to them. Today, it's serious business.